Hey, what's going on everyone? RC84 here, and like always, thanks for watching. Well, my friends, here at the RC Workstation with my Axial SCX-10 II. And as you see here on the desk, I got a few part bags laying out. I ended up picking up a sweet brass kit for the SCX-10. Now, this is something I'm very new at, adding uh, performance stuff to my vehicle and adding brass. I've never really, honestly, got into the whole performance modification area of the RCs. I always ran my vehicles as they came out the box and stuff. I really never got into the whole performance area. I've always been about appearance wise and for years with my SCX-10 I always tried to scale it out making it look like the real deal, uh, putting scale body shells on. I did a few little modifications like wheels and tires and shocks like that and some electronics but as far as performance wise I've never done that. And I'm at the point now where I don't want to use the SCX-10 as a scale truck. I already have two scale trucks now. I have the Trailfinder 2 from RC4 Drive, and then I have the HC6 from Cross RC. Both of those are my true scale trail trucks. So those are the ones I'll hit the trails with. But the SCX-10 is my go-to crawler, the one that I've if I want to do some hardcore rock crawling, crawling up mounds of rocks and objects, this is the one I take out. Uh, you know, I, I just don't want to focus on doing scale-wise with this vehicle anymore. Like I said, I want it to be a capable rock crawler, so when I go out, I can crawl over basically whatever I want to put at it. So, like I said, I ended up picking up a really cool brass kit from Ya yeah Racing. And let's see if we can get the camera to focus. Uh, well, there we go. So, yeah, racing. So, yeah, racing.com. I uh, ended up picking this up off of uh, eBay. Not eBay, actually, Amazon. You can get it off of eBay. Uh, you, uh, so, yeah. <laughs> Getting a little tongue tied there. But let me show you guys the kit here. Uh, it's pretty much an almost complete brass kit. There's a few things not with it, but general, it's a good start. Uh, for a brass kit so uh, so I have here the rear and if we can get the camera to focus I have to switch to manual mode so this is the rear lockouts for it so I'll show you that very nice uh, brass here it also comes with the mountain hardware to mount them on which is really nice so let's go to the next thing it comes with two of the brass diff covers so you can see that and we don't need to show you the other one because it's just it's just like it's just the same thing we got our brass C hubs right there boom and our next thing is the brass knuckles which look very beefy and things look nice and of course they also send you some stickers to post up on your vehicle or whatever but who needs the stickers now let's get the camera to focus back on me focus focus camera focus focus <laughs> gotta have a little fun with these videos you know my friends so uh that's my little project here on the channel is by putting the brass on there now i have to do a little rt research a little uh, research and try. That's what I'm calling it RT. Research and try. Uh, try out some different things. I don't know if I want to put all the brass on there or if I want to put brass where I might think it needs it at. Uh, so, I mean, I probably could start off by putting all the brass on and then testing it like that. See how what I think about it. If I need it, might take something off. Uh, maybe I need the brass on the back of it because this vehicle is fairly light my friends even with the battery in there it's still fairly light so with the brass I'm hoping with all that brass it will keep this vehicle planted to the ground and not uh, you know roll over or tumble over like so or I, I, I don't know exactly okay uh, like I said this is a whole new uh, ball game for me by doing performance upgrades to my vehicles but this is definitely something I want to do with the SCX-10 is to make it a more capable crawler. Out the box, this thing is sh sh stupid 
crazy. It does extremely well. The turning rates on it is immaculate. Uh, the performance of it, it's still good. Uh, I'm doing things that some guys, uh, crawlers, is you know they got all these different parts on, uh, all these different performance upgrades, and I'm still out crawling these guys. Uh, so the truck does you know great job, but uh, I'm hoping that with all this brass on here, it will be a lot better and a more capable truck. So that's what I'm hoping. All right. So we're gonna get to stripping this thing down, getting the the brass parts on and I will film the whole process of that of doing this thing but I just wanted to give you guys an update on what project is happening on the channel uh, I also got a few other projects as well with all right my friends so hopefully you stay tuned for the next video on installing the brass so yeah so uh, make sure that you subscribe to the channel like this video and uh, stay tuned for upcoming video on the SDX-10 with this brass kit. All right, my friends, so I took up enough time of yup, yup, yup. I'm going to let y'all go. Thank you again for watching, and I will see you guys later.